Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today, including space weather, a major hurricane intensification, star water, solar forcing of the atmosphere, and magnetic impact on biology. We will start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the last day was mostly quiet until just a couple of hours ago. We had no big flares, just watching this massive coronal hole incoming and set to directly face Earth tomorrow. It is surrounded by plasma filaments, and it appears big sunspots are behind it. This coronal hole was the focus of last night's special video on the solar magnetic field reversal, the first significantly sized trans-equatorial opening. The leading component of the filament system collapsed this morning. Coronagraphs are yet to update, but we'll be seeing if it released a CME in a couple hours. We can tell most of the mass did fall back down. Folks, Hurricane Otis pulled an extremely rare intensification event over the last 24 hours right before smacking the coastline of Mexico. It went from tropical storm to category 5 hurricane and actually broke the record for the strongest storm to ever hit that part of Mexico. Damage reports expected to begin coming in later today. Up next, we're off to watery worlds of the solar system. Two critical things in here are the confirmation that other planets, and especially moons in our solar system, have more water than Earth does, and how their ice jets from cryovolcanism could indicate habitability of the deeper regions for tiny life. Good paper up next on solar and cosmic ray forcing of wet and dry periods. We've actually seen several articles recently on solar forcing of precipitation patterns and intensity. We've got another one here. Last article hits magnetic fields and women's health. They focus on man-made electric fields, but whether it's 5G, other technology, or localized amplification of the field power due to space weather events, they all have an effect. And this one shows how important it is for embryonic viability and for maternal processes. Don't forget to grab tickets to the Observer event coming up on November 18th at Observer Ranch. We are very much looking forward to seeing you out there. And of course, our latest book is available for pre-order now. The pre-orders are the only ones likely to make it out to you before the holidays. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.